Hey there, and welcome to uh, Marks of Maturity. Have you ever found that somebody's actually standing on your last nerve? Have you ever found out that somebody took your last straw? Maybe you've finally given their last chance. All of those things are coming from moments of exasperation, but they also imply that there were other straws that were taken along the way, that people stood on other nerves before they got to your last one. They indicate this idea that things have been happening that have been left unresolved and not worked out, not worked through. There's been a lack of honesty in that relationship. Paul writes, love keeps no record of wrongs. What a challenging, challenging command for us. Love keeps no record of wrongs. I wanted to let you know that Jesus keeps no record of wrongs. If you've confessed him as your savior, if you've placed your hope and trust in him, if you've asked him for the forgiveness of sins, then he's done exactly that. And there is literally no record of, of your wrongs. Sin confessed is sin forgiven, and your slate has been totally wiped clean. That's a beautiful thing. And then in turn, we're called to love in a very, very similar way. Now, we're not wired to forget things that have happened to us. We're not supposed to forget, but we are called to forgive, to not keep that record. We're not supposed to stuff things down and never talk about them, or we're not supposed to hang on to things where we've said that we've forgiven that person of that thing. Once forgiveness has been extended, we're supposed to release that, to let it go, to not hang on to it any longer. That's much, much easier said than done, and yet that's what love does. It does it hang on to those bad things? I don't know about you, but I find this to be a challenge because when somebody does something that hurts me or they criticize me in a way that I think is unfair, I remember that stuff. That's easy. When people encourage me, I receive that. But like most of us, it's maybe easier not to forget about it, but for that to have a lasting impact. Those criticisms, those hurtful things, they stick and they're hard to let go of. And yet love keeps no record of wrongs. Let me encourage you to become people not only who release things, but build into other people's lives. Be that encourager. Be a person that's filled with gratitude. Remind yourself of the blessings that are not only yours in the Lord, but are yours because of the people in your life. Let's move that direction. Let's live lives that are pleasing and good to the Lord. God loves you so much. Have a great rest of your week.